Welcome back. My name is Paweł Paska, Vino Grono, in Polish. Welcome to another episode. As I said in the previous one, uh, this episode is going to be about uh, how to open bottle of wine step by step because I did a training some time ago. I explained in 22 minutes how to open a bottle of wine. So it's really detailed. I hope you're gonna like, I hope you're gonna learn something new. Uh, well, see you in the episode. How you open the bottle? How do you do it? Always front with the front label to the guest. To the guest who ordered the wine or to the whole table. So everybody can see. The bottle you hold from the top, you take your opener the same opener as everybody uses over here, so nothing fancy, no more opener as everybody of you should have. If doesn't come to me, I will give you one. Don't lose it. Open the little knife, still keep the label front of the guest. Knife and you cut. How do we cut? You take your knife, you don't cut with the tip. I see this very often, people cutting with the tip of the knife. That's not the right way. Think like if you are peeling apple. If you're peeling apple, you don't peel the apple with the tip of the knife. You peel with the whole knife. So make sure the whole knife is on the neck. The whole thing, all right? I don't know if you can see. All right? The whole thing is on the neck, okay? Now, we cut underneath the fatter part of the neck, fatter part of the neck. So you got the neck, there is this fat thing, this fatter ring, you cut underneath the fatter part, so right here. Not here, you don't take out all the label, you don't screw through here. You make sure first you cut the label and underneath. You use this part to your advantage to, uh, to go with the knife straight so you got nice, beautiful, round, straight line, okay? In three times, you take one big round, up, Second one, you flip the knife, you flip the knife this way, you do underneath, still try to keep the label front of the guest, you do underneath, you did it, you can do, you can repeat if you feel not, not so confident about it, you do second time underneath and third time again from the top, so you can make sure that there may be it's not connected, maybe you didn't cut uh, the same way on the front. So you do one more time on the front just to make sure that you, that you cut it well. And then you could cut this part. You could cut this part on the top and then remove or you just remove like, <laughs> like opening an apple, like cutting the skin from the apple. So you pull to the top. Boom! Nice, beautiful, perfect, round. Looks good underneath. Doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but has to look nice and be underneath. There is reason for that. Not only because it looks beautiful, that's great. It does look more beautiful than if you open different ways. Second, it's not to be fancy, but the wines, we have a lot of different wines and a lot of them we age in the cellar. So, during the aging process, here on the cork, on the top, can actually grow some fungus, can be dirty, the wine was transported from, from the vineyard, from different parts of the world to here. The wine might be laying in the, in the cellar for 20, 30, 50 years, you don't know. You don't know what's happened, what condition. So, with the old wine, if you open, you, first of all, you can see that maybe there is some fungus, maybe there is some dirt, that's totally normal, that's totally normal, that's, that happens and that doesn't break the wine. But once you open the wine, once the cork is uh, out, when you're going to be pouring, you don't want your wine touch the dirt stuff or you don't want to drop some dirty stuff in the, in the guest glass, right? So you would clean with nice organized napkins, sorry. You would clean the top. In very fancy restaurants, you would have your napkin all the time. Michelin star restaurants, you would have your napkin all the time. Somewhere arranged around you, so it looks nice. It's nice and normally it's nice and folded in this kind of way. You probably maybe even saw so many years of waiters walking like this in some places. So you would have your napkin all the time, so you would be all the time cleaning the neck. So once you open, you clean the neck, you take out the napkin, put it here or somewhere else, and you start to 
unscrew the uh, uh, un uh, take out the cork, screw your uh, screw your opener inside, right? So you keep your label front to the guest all at all the time. You hold on the neck, not over here, so you don't cover the label, not here, so you warm it up the wine. On the neck, so you warm up the less possible. Get your opener. Open the key and open the screw. Now, the technique is like this. To make it more simple and the most efficient, the key, the mechanism of the, of the opener, so this part, right, this one, on your left. When you open, you keep it on your left, point to the left. Now, the tip of the, of the screw, this part, if someone don't know, the tip of the screw goes exactly in the middle of the cord. This is not rocket science, but make sure it goes to the, to, to, the, to the middle. Trust me, I run many times very, very late, had to, had to be very, very quick. Maybe they, didn't screw, maybe they didn't screw in the middle and the cord, cord broke in, in a part and actually took even longer time for me to figure out and open the bottle and more stressful situation front of the table, front of the guest to take out the broken cork. Then if I would take one second extra just to make sure that it goes exactly in the middle. So screw exactly in the middle and press it and screw it. And the key on the left, right? The label is still on the front. So you go nicely inside. And once the screw was on the left, it's organized so perfectly that when you screw, you finish with the key on the front. So front of the label, the label is on the front. You screw to the end, you screw to the end or almost to the end. Don't screw too much because then you're gonna screw through the cork and the little uh, pieces of cork gonna drop to the wine. So don't screw too much, just to the end. Uh, also not too less because then if the cork is too long you're gonna be pulling and it's possibly gonna break screw just enough so all cork is, all screw is in the cork and you finish with your key with the mechanism front of your hand so you're still holding this way you don't hold this way because it's weird or somewhere here no you hold here this way then the mechanism on the front very easy push it down take these fingers Hold it together so you got nice firm hold so the bottle doesn't go no. Someone bumped to you, not gonna thank from your head fell from your hand, so you have nice firm hold on the bottle. Very important, right? What I often see people opening the wine like don't open the wine like this. Looks weird with your elbow, you are fighting here. The way how the force works doesn't work well, so you're putting on your shoulder a lot of uh, pressure. Maybe the cork is a little bit tougher. Maybe you don't have that much energy, so you're gonna be fighting with this cork and it's gonna be looking weird. Also, like this position looks weird. Plus, if you are in busy restaurant, if it's very busy around you, very busy night, maybe people passing next to you with plates, empty, full, uh, we got tight space, a lot of things. You can bump someone with your elbow. You hold from the bottom. So right here. From here, not this way, this way, on the bottom. This V part goes on the bottom. So you got this part of your mechanism, your waiter, waiter opener. This goes first, okay? You lock this one, you lock this part, you hold this firm, firm so this doesn't go nowhere. Hold your bottle front of the guest. Ah, one more thing, hold the bottle lower. Don't hold it here, don't hold it front of your chest. You are not going to pray right now. Hold it low, chill. You look more relaxed, you look much better. People can see your face and the guests probably sitting on the table. So they are anyway sitting lower. Their heads are more or less in this, in right here. So then they can see properly the bottle front of them face, not somewhere above that they have to look up. And because of that, you got much easier way to open the wine. If you're here, you're gonna be fighting with the elbow again or doing some weird stuff. If you are nice, low, relaxed, you look much more professional, you feel much better, and you have to use much less force. It's much easier to open a bottle of wine if it's position lower. You have your position from the bottom, so your elbow stays here, physically your elbow stays here, and then it's much easier for you to pull it up from this position. So, you pull it up, one, 
to the top until the end until you feel you can pull more done half cork is up half up nice on the top what do you do you hold it again you pull it down you pull this part from this position to this position and you lock the lower part of the key okay again the same thing nothing really not big deal now one thing before you go into the end you're gonna feel the cork start to be loose don't pull very quick and you hear that bloop. no you don't want that we are in the restaurant we are fancy this is not the funky wine bar it's a restaurant it's a quiet place maybe it's quiet evening maybe it's very fancy situation uh, people yeah fancy situation on the table you don't want to make noise so you look unprofessional and guests next to the table maybe because they hear bloom they're gonna look automatically because that's how our brain works look automatically on the table maybe they they don't want attention maybe some anniversary uh wedding anniversary they want to be quiet chill casual about it they want to show off too much maybe go very expensive bottle of wine and they don't want to show off too much so just keep it quiet <laughs> that's the way so you open and once you almost at the end almost at the end just slowly slowly pull it or you can even if you feel like if it's already done just twist it up done the label still on the front so the guest still can see so maybe they were talking maybe they want to have a look late you open you smell the cork very important you might find uh, that the wine is corked or something wrong with it. Not always, not always you're gonna feel, sometimes you might think that it's corked, but it's not. So that's little thing, so you can see that, so you can maybe verify it or maybe have an idea that, ooh, I think something wrong with this wine. Maybe it's corked, maybe it's oxidized, maybe some, something wrong. There are faults in wine that you probably heard from me saying or you know about them, or if not, just ask me, I will explain you what fall, faults in wine can happen. So. The wine might be corked. So, in this way, you see, it wasn't corked, seems fine. You close it, you put it in your pocket. Don't worry about the cork, you're gonna remove it later. Here you go, your wine. Who is gonna try? Or you pour the first dose to try for the guest who is going to, who ordered the wine, the gentleman or the lady on the table, or the person who ordered the wine, or you just ask, uh, who is gonna try the wine? We are 21st century right now. 2023 doesn't need to be the oldest man on the table who is going to try the wine maybe he wants his nephew maybe he wants his daughter maybe he wants his wife to try or maybe the wine is the wife is bigger expert than him he just ordered a bottle of wine that she told him so maybe she's gonna uh, she wants to try also this is fun thing to maybe they want to play around haha you try or oh, I try ta -ta -ta. it's some type of inter entertainment and shows that we are not so straight so forward so unless it's a very big table and you don't have time for it uh, you don't want to bother everybody then just pull for the guest who order and it's done okay so your bottle is open done what we don't do you don't screw the bottle like this it's not a can of uh, tuna or can of uh, uh, meat that you're going to open like this Keep the label on the front so the guests can see, everybody can see how it looks like. Don't open on the top, doesn't look super nice. Open always on the bottom and try to do as clean as possible the cap. So doesn't look like you rip off the label or you were fighting with it or just squeeze a little bit harder the knife. Make sure the whole knife is on the bottle. So once you, once you open it, it goes just clean and easy out. Okay, why we do that? Not only so it's fancy and looks beautiful, but also by show by opening the wine the right way, you give better experience to the guest. If the guest is coming here, maybe he doesn't know much about wine. Maybe he doesn't know much about dining, but he wanted to or she wanted to invite someone for really nice dinner because heard about our place, heard of that we got really good wine selection or we got really nice team knowledgeable about wine and we can uh, advise for good wine in any uh, price range so they came here to have nice experience if you open the bottle of wine the right way it looks clean looks beautiful you looked confident by opening the wine you didn't look like you're fighting the first or second time and you never I don't know how, why, how to open they're gonna be much happier they're gonna see oh really the place was much better so it's good for the place 
it's good for you because once you open the wine professionally even though you might know nothing about wine or very little but the people are gonna trust you a little bit more oh he knows how to open a bottle of wine maybe he knows more about the wine than the other guy in the other restaurant that we went last time so that gives you professionalism so for the next question about the wine about the food they're going to be much more attentive and trust you much more with your advice with your choices than if they see you unconfidently or when you don't know really how to do it it's not big deal it's not a science it's just opening a bottle of wine but gives you a better uh, better ex better uh, professionalism so for you is much better uh, for the restaurant of course it's much better and for the guests for the personal experience if it's, it's a couple and the one one person invited the other one for the dinner and everything looks good smoothly the stuff looks professional he feels better about them himself that he chose the right place the person feels like oh this is a nice place he brought me there he brought or she brought me there that's win-win for everybody all right and small story from my life like i didn't say speak too much already i was working in between covid in small restaurant in the center nice wine list good food but nothing fancy i had this couple on the table middle aged lady guy they ordered a bottle of wine nice wine nothing extremely fancy but nice wine brought to the table opened the bottle of wine the way how it should be and what i hear from them wow man since we are living in Amsterdam, you are the first person who opened the bottle of wine in the right way. I'm like, thank you, eh? but I don't know, that's, that's, that's how it should be done. Turns out the gentleman is a very important lawyer from Germany. The lady, she used to own Michelin star restaurant in Italy and they both very much into wine. They just like different places and they turns out to be there. Since then, we had little chat about the opening bottle of wine, why it's important, why those little things make sense. They became our regulars, they were coming every single time, uh, they were listening, they were taking my advice for wine, for food, for everything, every single time. Uh, we became almost friends just because I opened the bottle of wine in the correct way. So, you never know, right? Uh, so I hope this helped you. I hope since now, I'm gonna see the bottles of wine open the right way. I hope you enjoy it. I hope this helped you something and it's gonna stay with you for forever. Either you're gonna work in the restaurant, in hospitality, or you're just gonna be opening later on in life uh, wines for yourself or your friends. Always gonna be helpful. So, thank you very much. Enjoy the service. If you like it, subscribe and put the comment down below <laughs> so quick re you take the order you point the wine you make sure that the guest and you saw the wine present it explain hold on the front cut one two three on the top if you're not so sure one more time take out the top boom pocket open the key left side the screw in the middle of the cork screw it screw it screw it screw it screw it the label still on the front bottle nice and low end up with the key on the front once down second time almost to the end slow down you can hear just pssst. smell it smells nice cork screw to your pocket that's your bottle sir who is gonna try perfect service enjoy <laughs> I hope you like it I hope you learned something new if you didn't but I just uh, said everything that you already knew that's great that means you know how to open the bottle of wine perfectly and that's the same technique as mine if there is anything that you like to add please add in the comments oh one thing I forgot to mention in the video and then turns out if I didn't say so in my work they didn't do it or they didn't notice if you want to open a bottle of wine right so cork if you want to screw in the middle of the cork use your screw your opener use your point finger or the middle finger don't get offended point in the middle of the cork uh, let me see oh to point in the middle of the cork so use it to your to your advantage so you can uh, really really point in the middle and you can screw perfectly and then this is how it looks like if you do it perfectly right so sorry forgot to mention if anything else i forgot to mention drop down the comment uh well like subscribe if you like then subscribe have a nice day drink your wine na cheers ciao